Hey everyone, my name is Josh Evilsizer, and today this video is dedicated to everyone on the internet that thinks that Inbox Zero is a big deal, because it's not. Inbox Zero, rule number one, will get you to Inbox Zero. It is also the number one rule to Inbox Zero because, of course, it's the most important one. Get this, get Inbox Zero. So stay with me as I explain how to keep it simple with your inbox. I'm down, Josh. How do I simplify my inbox? Well, it's actually very easy, um, and you do that by removing the requirement to think. Absolutely. Removing the requirement to think. You do that by eliminating all your folder or email filing options but one. This is it right here, one folder. This is the key concept. This is the simplicity that everybody misses. You do this with one folder, your done folder. One done folder for all your done emails, all your completed emails, all your actioned emails. You put your done emails in your done folder. The beauty of this, of course, you can name it anything. If you're a Microsoft Outlook user, perhaps you call it your complete folder. It's very elegant. Or maybe you call it your completed folder. Or maybe you're a Snatch fan and you like that movie and, uh, you know, calling it Susan would make you happy. Call it whatever you want. It's where all of your actioned emails go. Google nailed it out of the gate with the all mail folder. It's where your all mail shows up and it's where your all mail ends up. It's a label and that's another conversation or video, but the bottom line is it's one folder for all your done emails. Sounds good so far, right? Yeah, Josh, it makes perfect sense. Please just take a second and explain to me exactly how your one folder system actually works. Love to. Start off with your inbox and you open your email you action the email by doing whatever it requires, and then you move the email to your done folder. Or you open your email, you action your email, and then you archive your email. You open your email, you action your email, you archive your email. And archive just means moving it from your inbox to your done folder. Uh, it's not the function in Microsoft that you might be thinking about, closer to the one in Gmail, where it's just an action button that moves it out of your inbox to your all mail. Bottom line, you're moving it from your inbox to your done folder. That's all you're doing. It's super simple. Zero thought required. In fact, some of you are probably like, yeah, it's so simple. I really don't understand why you're shooting this video explaining to me how simple it is. Um, but the reason I'm making this video is because unfortunately there are millions of people that still do this. I call this the overcomplicated inbox Rube Goldberg gauntlet of choices. <laughs> if your inbox looks like this, you are doomed and you're never going to see inbox zero. And that's why you're complaining that inbox zero is so hard. It is, it is. If you've got to make this series of choices, every time you simply want to remove an email, it's not going to work. You're doomed. Uh, imagine having to decide every single time, well, is that email terrible or bad, or is it just no value or worthless? That is what you have to go through every single time you process an email. And for people that process hundreds of emails a day, this is how you reach decision fatigue. It's a thing, Google it, um, filing your emails and finding your emails. Well, yesterday I put it in the terrible folder, so I went right back there and found it. But a year from now, when the emails that I used to consider terrible, I now consider just worthless. What folder did I put it in? All right, you get it. No good. Um, I also want to explain, some people will say to you, yeah, just one folder, your done folder, plus your do this week and do this month folder or your read later folder. Mm -mm. One folder, your done folder. Anytime you start creating additional folders, now you've got additional inboxes to deal with and it's no longer simple. You gotta keep it simple. Uh, one caveat, this does not apply to Gmail filters. Those are actually useful, filters and labels. Whole nother video, um, but that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about not using this. But Josh, <laughs> if I get rid of all of my useless folders, how will I find my email when I actually need it? And that's a great question. My answer to you would be the same way that we find everything else on the internet. Search. When was the last time you tried to find something on the internet and you couldn't find it? I guarantee you it wasn't because you or someone else hadn't gone before you and filed everything away neatly in some Rube Goldberg gauntlet of choices, right? 
just like the internet doesn't need to be packaged away in folders, your email doesn't need to be packaged away in folders. You just need to be able to search it intelligently. Uh, there's Boolean search, there's smart search, whatever you want to call it, that's how you find emails, not through folders. I go in great detail explaining that in the link down below. I'm not going to cover it right now. What I do want to drive home is that we are trying to go from this to this in the simplest way possible, and that's with one folder. Now, some people might say, hey Josh, I want up you, man. I don't even need one folder. I got zero. I just mark as red. Used to do that as well. The problem is, at the end of the day, when you get up from your desk and you look at your inbox that's full of all the emails that you marked as red, did you complete all of the actions associated with those emails? Are you sure? You sure you didn't bump an email once or twice throughout the day? When you have to physically move your emails from your inbox to your done folder, there is no doubt in your mind those emails are done. When you're just leaving them marked as red, that's what David Allen in his book Getting Things Done calls open loops. Open loops are unfinished commitments. And these marked as red emails are open loops because you're just not sure if you've actually actioned all of these emails. However, when you make it a rule that when you action an email, you move it to your done folder, it becomes an absolutely closed loop. All right, I wanna leave you with one final point. That's a done folder, it's not a delete folder. So the requirement to defer, delegate, or delete is a false dilemma. People will pause and not get rid of the email because they're being required to delete it. That's not what I'm asking you to do. I'm asking you to move it to the done folder. You can always pull it up later. It's not lost and gone forever. So the delete requirement or option or choice is a false choice. Okay, <clears throat> if you can learn to do this, you have learned to embrace the archive. And this is inbox zero, rule number one. All right. I've talked about a lot of things in the video today. Some of them are somewhat technical in nature. Rather than try to explain them in the video, I've broken them down in separate videos linked in the description down below. So check those out. I'll be adding more as I create them as well. In those videos, I'll fully break down how to embrace the archive, which is what we talked about today, rule number one, and of course, future goodness to come. So please stay tuned and you've been evil-sized.